Started off basic, Whoa. just go and cop an M2 Mac Mini, it's so elated. But ain't it kind of similar, but distant cousins, they relate. Man, it. it's not the same, M2 is here, game elevated. I say, listen, listen, let's get into this story. Cause Tim is out here cooking, give roses and all the glory. See, it's 5 dollars price the same, I have no quarries. Let's get into this video and I'll explain this inventory. <laughs> Room 21. All right, so I don't want you guys out here spending too much money when you don't have to. Now, one of the biggest questions, if I was personally in the market trying to decide on which new M2 Mac Mini I should buy and which one is the right one for me, I would personally have to say it's the M2 Pro Mac Mini, but that's for me. It may not be the one for you or the one that I would recommend, but I want to talk about it in this video and break it down. Which M2 should you buy, M2 or the M2 Pro Mac Mini? All right, so in this video, let's go ahead and break it down into two different parts. I wanna talk about the M2 Mac Mini and who I personally think that that's for. And then the second half of this video, we're gonna talk about the M2 Pro Mac Mini and who I think that that machine is for. Because one thing's for certain, y'all, they are definitely two types of machines for two types of people. Now, which one are you? Let's talk about it. All right, so real quick before we get into that, I wanna tell you guys about a group chat that I started where I share new music drop that's gonna be coming here on the channel before anybody else hears it. Like. The one you heard in this video in this intro, the people that's in the group chat, they already heard it before it even dropped here in this video. For the people that's already in it, I want you to go ahead and comment down below right now, hashtag room21, and uh, let people know. Get in there. <laughs> All right, so giveaways, man, is also going to be announced in there. Now, this is something that I've personally been wanting to do and build for a long time, and it is finally here. So to be part of this, all you guys got to do is text room 21 to the number that's right here on the screen and boom, just like that, man, you in there and you're going to be added to the list instantly with everybody else. And uh, you're going to go ahead and get that exclusive content as well. So text that to that number real quick and let me know and welcome to room 21. All right. So the M2 Mac mini right now, if you guys are considering buying this version, this is the configuration that I would personally buy as a base minimum and i'm talking to the people that is looking at the m2 you know for this portion of the video now if you guys want to know more about the 599 base model i talked about that you can watch that video it's right up here on the screen somewhere as well as i'll have it towards the end of this video but for configuration purposes minimum that i'm gonna go with this 8 core cpu 10 core gpu 16 core neural engine with 8 gigs or 16 gigs of unified memory 256 or 512 SSD storage. Now, I know I told you guys to go with the one terabyte minimum in my last video, but I'm gonna explain here in a second why I'm telling you guys 256 or 512 and why it only makes sense for the people that I'm talking about for this portion of the video, which may be you. And the last thing is only get the gigabit ethernet option because it's really the only one you're gonna need. Now, with all of that selected, that's gonna put the price no higher than $799, which is still a crazy deal to get into the Apple ecosystem and get a powerful M2 chip as well. So here's the breakdown. If you go with the eight gigabytes of RAM option, then you wanna select 512 for your storage. But if you guys are going 16 gigs of RAM, then only select the 256 gigabytes of storage options. So when it comes to the RAM as well as the storage, right here is where I want you guys to decide you know, what you guys wanna do. Do you wanna put RAM over storage or do you wanna put storage over RAM? Now, you might be asking yourself right now, CK, I don't know if I wanna put RAM over storage or if I wanna put storage over RAM. Well, I want you guys to look at it like this, right? If you are the type of person that likes to use your computer uh, and you like to run multiple applications at the same time, or you like to have 50 different Chrome tabs or Safari tabs open, then you should probably prioritize RAM over storage. But let's say you guys are somebody like me and you don't like having that many applications open at once, but you like to actually save everything, then I would prioritize storage over RAM. Now, I hope that makes sense. If Y'all still with me? Y'all following me? All right, cool. Now that we have the configuration and everything down, who is this M2 Mac Mini 4 and why did I keep the price around $799? That's because this machine for that person likes to casually browse the web. They like to watch YouTube content. They like to watch Netflix content. Uh, speaking of which, I don't know if it's on Netflix, I think it's HBO, but you want to watch that Last of Us, I promise you it's dope. You also like to check your stocks. Uh, you also do maybe some light gaming, some light photos, some light video editing work occasionally, but you know, just as a hobby, like nothing too crazy serious or nothing like that. Maybe you like to listen to some music in the background, but most importantly, you want to remain or get into the Apple operating system as well as the ecosystem, but you don't really want to break the bank, right? Plus, as a bonus, if you're like me, 
and you love the size of the Mac Mini since it doesn't take up hardly any space on your desk whenever you guys are working in your space. You like to keep that minimalistic look, right? Now, keep in mind with whichever M2 Mac Mini or whatever you get the M2 Pro or whatnot, you're still gonna have to buy a monitor, you're still gonna have to buy a keyboard, you're gonna have to buy mouse, speakers, all of that, which I'll be breaking all of that down in my accessories video that's gonna be dropping, I think, next week here on the channel. So make sure you guys sign up for the group chat right now so that way you'll be the first one to know when that video drops because I'm telling you, you know, those people in there, Hey, they getting the perks. Now, the reason why I kept this price around $799 and only did the 256 gig or the 512 storage option and the 8 gig or the 16 gig RAM option is because if you were to bump this up to 512 gigs of storage or one terabyte higher of storage and a 16 gig higher in RAM, that's putting this right at $1,000 and over for the M2 Mac Mini. And to me, if you guys start peaking and have over a thousand dollar budget and you still wanna stay with the Mac Mini, then it kinda starts to only make sense to go ahead and jump to that M2 Pro route if you guys are looking to spend that kind of money. To me, that says that you guys are not the typical computer user, meaning you probably are doing some tasks that requires either a uh, higher RAM or higher storage, right? See, to me, if you guys are needing that much storage plus more RAM, then it means you guys are doing some type of work that's gonna be more labor intensive on the CPU as well as the GPU of these machines right here, which now puts you into the whole M2 Pro range, which is not a bad thing, but I want you guys to understand that the M2 Pro does come with a higher price tag for a reason, which we're gonna touch on that here in a second, so stick around for that. But if you guys are just the type of person who is just a casual computer user who basically wants a small form factor, who likes to browse the web, uh, you like checking and responding to your emails, you watch YouTube videos like this one right here, uh, then I personally feel the M2 Mac Mini is the perfect machine for you with the configurations that I told you guys about because that's gonna save and put more money back into your pocket to spend on other accessories like a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, storage, or something like that, right? But y'all probably like, look, see kid, I like to do a little bit more with my computer needs than what you just mentioned when it comes to the M2 Mac Mini. Well, I'm glad you said that because this is where, this is where the M2 Pro Mac Mini comes into the ball game from the dugout. I had to take it out of the dugout, y'all. Now you can see right here from the ports I ain't capping, this is the M2 Pro Mac Mini. You can check it from the ports. Now, for this one right here, you're gonna need to get your wallet out and dig a little deeper, but I think it might actually be worth it in the long run if you guys require more. So, for this one right here, when it comes to the configuration, I wouldn't necessarily spend higher than $1,500 for this machine right here. The only, and I mean the only configuration that I would get with this machine, 16 gigs of RAM with one terabyte of SSD storage or 512 if you wanna save a little bit, but here's why. The moment you guys bump up to 32 gigs of memory with one terabyte of storage, that instantly puts you into the M1 Max Max Studio realm. And if you guys are paying $1,900 for an M2 Pro Mac Mini, then you're cheating yourself out of performance as well as money because you can go ahead and get an M1 Max Max Studio for just $100 more and it's gonna be way more powerful than the M2 Pro Mac Mini. So, who is the M1 Pro Mac Mini for? Now, I'll say this. It's really for the people out there who need to do a little bit more on their machine, like a good amount of video as well as photo editing. And at this point, not just like a hobby, like this is something that you guys are really into and potentially making money from. Also, maybe you guys are a developer or you a coder or you like to create iPhone apps and different things like that. And you're gonna need additional computing power to be able to process your renders and different things like that. This is where having additional CPU as well as GPU cores is gonna actually come into play. So if you're this type of user, then I think the M2 Pro Mac Mini is 100% for you over something like the M2 Mac Mini. Yes, it's gonna cost you $700 more in order to be in this space, but in my testing, I personally think it's worth it. Now, I did notice when editing video, as well as creating thumbnails and different things like that with the M2 Pro, it was actually able to handle it a little faster than the M2 Mac Mini. But to be honest with you guys, it wasn't like a huge, huge major difference, but it is noticeable if you're somebody like me. Plus. I think for the long haul, it's gonna just last you much longer if you guys are pushing the Mac Mini to the max. You don't wanna be one of those people out there that's doing M2 Pro level work on an M2 level Mac Mini, if that makes well, sense. Uh, okay, M1, it started off basic. Well, just go and cop the M2 Mac Mini, it's so elated. But ain't it kinda similar, but distant cousins, they relate.